Have you ever imagined the first footsteps of humans in South America, wandering through wild landscapes and encountering massive ancient creatures? For years, we believed that humans settled in South America around 13,000 years ago. But recent discoveries in Argentina suggest that this timeline may be off by thousands of years. Who made these discoveries and what do they mean for our understanding of human history? Join us as we get into the groundbreaking findings that are pushing back the timeline of human settlement in South America. We'll uncover the secrets of ancient bones, explore the environment and creatures of the past, and see how these discoveries are reshaping our knowledge of early human migration. The timeline of human settlements in South America is based on various archaeological sites, including the famous Clovis culture in North America, which dates back to around 13,000 years ago. These early settlers were thought to have migrated from Asia via the Bering Land Bridge and made their way down through North America into South America. The question of when humans first arrived in South America is a fascinating one, with important implications for understanding how our ancestors spread across the Americas and their potential impact on the extinction of large animals at the end of the last ice age. A team of researchers, led by Dr. Mariano Del Papa from the National University of La Plata, found some fascinating marks on the fossilized bones of a glyptopont, a giant relative of the modern armadillos that lived around 21,000 years ago. These marks were consistent with cuts made by stone tools used for butchering animals. The placement of the cut marks suggests the early humans were targeting areas with a lot of meat, like the pelvis, tail and body armor. And the radiocarbon dating puts these bones at nearly 6,000 years older than any other known archaeological evidence from the southern part of South America. To investigate the origin of the cut marks on the animal bones, the researchers used a combination of photography and 3D scanning techniques. They noticed that some of the marks had a distinct V-shaped cross-section, which is highly suggestive of cuts made by stone tools during butchering activities. In total, the team identified 32 cut marks on the bones. The researchers then applied various statistical methods to analyze and compare the characteristics of these marks. Through this quantitative analysis, they were able to determine that the pattern of cuts was not random or accidental. The marks were made intentionally by humans using tools. This conclusion was based on the unique features and distribution of the cuts across the bones. The researchers looked closely at the bones and ruled out other possible reasons for the marks. They decided that carnivores, which usually leave U-shaped tooth marks, were not responsible. They also considered whether natural weathering might have caused the marks, but found evidence that the animal's body was buried quickly after it died. This rapid burial helped protect the bones from damage by weather or scavengers. The location of the cut marks led researchers to conclude that ancient humans used a specific butchering method. This suggests they were skilled at gathering and eating a lot of meat from the pelvis and tail of the giant armadillo. The implications of these findings are profound. If humans were indeed present in South America 21,000 years ago, this challenges the long-held belief that the continent was settled much later. It suggests that early humans were capable of adapting to diverse environments and utilizing available resources, including megafauna like the glyptodont. Furthermore, this discovery opens the door to re-evaluating other archaeological sites across the continent. Researchers believe that there may be additional evidence waiting to be uncovered in Brazil's rock shelters and caves, potentially pushing the timeline of human presence in South America even further back. Stay tuned until the end if you want to know more about these fascinating discoveries. Subscribe to our channel for updates on new findings and join the conversation about the incredible journey of early humans. To understand the context of these early inhabitants, it's essential to consider the environment of South America during this period. The landscape was vastly different from what we see today. The climate was colder and the landscape was home to a variety of megafauna, large animals that are now extinct. The glyptodont, in particular, was a significant creature during this time. Glyptodonts were a type of large extinct armadillo with heavy armor. They could grow up to about 1.5 meters, 4.9 feet tall, and weighed around two tons. They had short, broad skulls, a fused backbone, 
and a tough, bony shell made up of many individual scutes. Some glyptodonts also had club tails, similar to the ones seen in anglosaur dinosaurs. During the time when ancient humans inhabited South America, several large animals would have been available for hunting. In addition to the glyptodont, other megafauna included relatives of elephants, saber-toothed cats, giant ground sloths, and massive flightless birds. These animals provided significant food sources for early humans, who likely targeted them due to their size and the amount of meat they offered. To hunt these large animals, early humans relied on various stone tools. The development of these tools were important for their survival. This included the use of spears, which allowed them to hunt from a distance, reducing the risk of injury from large animals. As time went on, the invention of the bow and arrow gave hunters a big advantage. It allowed them to shoot fast and agile animals from a safe distance. In addition to the glyptodont findings, there have been other significant discoveries that further push back the timeline of human presence in South America. Other archaeological sites have revealed similar findings. For example, the discovery of modified sloth bones in Argentina, dated to around 25,000 to 27,000 years ago, also support the idea that humans were present in South America much earlier than previously believed. Another important discovery that suggests humans were in South America earlier than we thought comes from the Toca da Tia Pia rock shelter in Brazil. Stone tools found at this site might be as old as 22,000 years. This finding has sparked new discussions about whether ancient people arrived in the Americas much earlier than believed, possibly long before the Clovis culture, known for their unique stone tools, which appeared in North America around 13,000 years ago. A new study has found compelling evidence that humans were present in Patagonia around 17,300 years ago. This is an important discovery because it indicates that people may have arrived in southern South America much earlier than the traditional models of human migration have suggested. The conventional theories tend to point to a later date for the initial people of this region. However, this latest research challenges that view and leaves open the possibility that humans and their cultural remains existed in southern South America even earlier, possibly before 16,000 years ago. As more research is conducted and new sites are explored, our understanding of early human migration and adaption in South America continues to evolve. So, is the evidence from these findings enough to push back the timeline for human settlements in South America? The answer is not straightforward. While the marks on the glyptodont bones and other artifacts provide strong evidence, the scientific community remains cautious. Some researchers argue against the interpretation of the marks found on the glyptodont bones as evidence of human activity. They contend that the markings could have been caused by natural processes rather than human intervention. This ongoing discussion highlights the complexity of archaeological interpretation and the need for further research. As excavations continue and new technologies emerge, the timeline of human settlements in South America may shift once again. The potential for discovering additional evidence in unexplored areas remains high, and researchers are optimistic about what future findings may reveal. The discovery of stone tool marks on the glyptodont bones in Argentina has challenged our understanding of when humans first settled in South America. This finding, along with other significant discoveries, suggests that humans might have arrived in the Americas much earlier than previously thought. While there is still much to learn and confirm, these discoveries are reshaping our views of ancient human migration and opening new doors to understanding our distant past. If you are interested in learning more about these fascinating discoveries and the ongoing research in this field, be sure to subscribe to our updates and watch our videos for the latest insights into the history of human civilization in South America.